Uh, one characteristic of Chinese foreign policy, or, or external policy for that matter, is that uh, the words that have been said by Xi Jinping has been very soft or gentle, but the actual action, uh, the deeds, have been rather uh, tough and hardline. Uh, for example, in the peripheral diplomacy workshop, so-called, in October 2013, a very conciliatory policy line was, uh, was presented, and uh, Xi Jinping himself uh, added uh, four Chinese characters um, up upon the conciliatory uh, traditional policy line towards the neighbors. Uh, that's intimacy, sincerity, benefit, and tolerance. Oh, very good, very fine. Um, and also, in the same month, he went to Jakarta and said that with regard to differences and disputes between China and some Southeast Asian nations on territorial sovereignty and maritime rights and interests, peaceful solutions should be sought and differences and disputes should be properly handled through equal-footed dialogue and friendly consultation in the overall interests of bilateral ties and regional stability. Fantastic. But what are the deeds? Uh, deeds were very different. Uh, November 2013, the announcement of ADIS. May 2014, deployment of the oil rig near the Parasols and the land reclamation. We've heard um, somewhat about that in the earlier session. Uh, intrusion by Chinese patrol boats into the Senkaku territorial waters con continues to this day, and the air miss between Japanese and Ch Chinese military planes happened twice, not only once, but twice in May and June last, last year. Um, and we cannot but notice uh, one thing is, is that whenever the Chinese bring up the history card, it often is the case that they are trying to justify their deeds. I once had a conversation with a very senior theoretician uh, in China, uh, I asked him, well, your idea about peaceful development is fantastic, uh, but doesn't it contradict with the sending of patrol boats to the territorial waters around the Sen Senkakus? And he fell silent uh, for a few, few moments. And then after that, he blasted out all his criticisms about what Japan did during the war. And finally, uh, criticized me for having a wrong uh, <laughs> recognition of his history, but I had not touched a history at, at all. So it made me realize that the grudges are deep on the one hand, but on the other hand, they seem to be using the, the history card whenever they wanted to justify their, their deeds. All right, and um, coming close to the end of my presentation, um, why are there these gap, uh, gaps? Why are these gaps in what they say and what they do? One explanation is that there is lack of coordination. Uh, which is a perennial problem in Chinese bureaucracy. And the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, tend to be conciliatory, um, while the propaganda department tend to be nationalistic and more leftist in their orientation. A PLA and the old department tend to, uh, to act first and secure interests and create fait accompli.